Hello, so welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the full process, well, sort of the full process of me fixed in um, the Ford Fiesta. Um, I did go and buy a door and a wing in color off a Ford Breakers Yard, uh, and I put that on the car to save me uh, trying to salvage the door and the wing. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any videos, videos of it, so it is literally straight to the rear quarter, the back bumper and the front bumper being repaired, which is not the end of the world. There's still plenty of content, but the reason that the obviously the wing and the door aren't damaged is because I have already replaced them. So uh, if you guys haven't seen part one, then make sure you go and check out part one. I'll leave it in the, in the description. Um, that's sort of I was going to pick it up. Um, but apart from that, I hope you guys enjoy the video.
Oh, so, it's a Thursday afternoon and the Ford Fiesta is ready to be painted. All the dents in here has all been pinned out, filled and then primed over. That little chunk that was missing at the bumper there has been fixed. He's just looking up some paint now. And just a little bit of corner in that front bumper. Front bumper there. I bet you wish you probably would have done the door now as well, wouldn't you? Why? Well, while he's doing the whole thing, you might as well, do you know what, you should have just done the whole lot. I might as well pack the roof then, what are you? <laughs> what are you packing the door? You can't paint it. <laughs> that was the door that was originally, wasn't it? We're going to risk wearing the whole car then. What? We're going to risk wearing the whole car, why is it paint? No. So I've actually been running errands. <laughs> Your eyes closed. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to time lapse some of it, of the painting, and then other, others I'll just video it. But yeah, it'll be the, it's the final episode of the, of the Fiesta now. So there's only going to be a part one and a part two, and the part one obviously you've already seen picking it up. So yeah.
I saw the fourth yesterday has been painted. What's, um, what are the problems that you faced <laughs> while painting this? <laughs> bit too cold. A bit too cold compared to the summer, innit? There's still still a good finish on it, it's just uh obviously painting from winter to summer is a bit different, ain't it? Takes a bit of time to dry. Yeah. Hello guys, so it's the following day after we've painted the full fiesta. Let's come in in the morning and give it a good buff so the paintwork comes up nice and nice and fresh. I'm just gonna go over it now and give it a proper clean. I've got my wash and wax ready that I use. It's this one here. And then I use an iron out and a the other one's sort of like an interior cleaner, which is Probably the best stuff that I've ever used actually, it's really good stuff. But yes, I'll cut back after I've finished cleaning it and then that'll be the final parts of this episode. Hello, so this is the last bit to the Ford Fiesta video. Bumpers come up perfect there. It was a little uh, line sort of, it was, it was digged in going through there, that's where the damage first started. That thing's been replaced, that door's been replaced. Both of them a uh, genuine Ford wing and door that was, we got in the colour from the Ford breaker shard. Bumper's been painted there. Obviously, it's been blended into a bit blended into around here, and then it's been buffed this morning, as you've already seen, washed. And now, it's ready to be advertised. It's got 49,000 miles, both keys, full service history, uh, logbook, and I have also ordered some uh, new Ford mats. So it's got to have four genuine mats in it. It's had it's either two or three previous owners. I'm pretty sure it's three though, but yeah. That's quite a, well, it wasn't as simple as the other repairs have been, but it was a little bit more time consuming, but again, it was it was still pretty straightforward. So that's that done, and uh, my asking price is going to be anywhere between three to three and a half thousand. When I get home, I'm going to have a look to see what they're going for on Facebook and AutoTrader, and then sort of judge the price from there. But yeah, it will do somebody perfect, either for a first time car or a nice little cheap runaround. So... Uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't already seen part one, then I'll leave part one in the description where we picked it up. And then, yeah, so make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, comment down below actually if there's anything you think I could improve. I'm always open to suggestions. Like the other day, somebody commented um, with a new, I think it was a new wash and wax that I should use, it was a G101. So I've ordered that up, and I'm going to see what that's like. Um, another person called Colin, he's uh, he keep he he was keep kept going on about how he wanted to see more spraying and more sort of that side of the, of the work. So again, we've showed more spraying in the Fiat 500. So I do listen to every single one of your comments and I do read them all. So make sure if you've got a suggestion, obviously comment down below. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.